appreciate the honourable gentleman's very kind and gracious remarks, and I won't forget them. I'm afraid, in order to accommodate remaining colleagues who were on the list, I'm going to have to introduce a three-minute time limit with immediate effect, because but, well, otherwise people won't get in. I can't help it. But there is injury time, as the honourable lady knows. Caroline Lucas. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. Well, I will not be supporting a general election because I don't think a general election will resolve Brexit. And the clue is partly in the name. A general election is about general issues. It is impossible to extrapolate from the results what people think about a very specific issue, in this case, Brexit. If you want a specific answer on Brexit, then you have to ask a specific question. And the best way of doing that is through a people's vote. That is even more the case, Mr Speaker, with an electoral system that is as undemocratic and antiquated as our own, because First Past the Post regularly delivers majority governments on a minority of votes. A million people did not march through the streets of London a few weeks ago demanding a general election. They wanted a people's vote because they know that is the best way, indeed the only way, to get to the bottom of this crisis and to resolve it. All that a general election is going to do, quite frankly, is to put Nigel Farage and the Prime Minister back in their comfort zones, basically giving them a stage, political insiders dressed up as rebels, whose agenda, frankly, is chaos so that division will thrive. And I want to take straight on this idea that this is a parliament which has run its course. The Prime Minister has won both his Queen's speech and the second reading of the withdrawal bill. The only person who is blocking progress in this Parliament is Absolutely the Prime Minister right. himself. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely right. The reason for that is very clear. He has an agenda that is all about a general election, about installing an even harder vote leave contingent of MPs in Parliament. But let us not allow him to get away with telling us as Parliament that somehow we have not been doing a good job at holding him to account. This is not a zombie Parliament. This is a Parliament that has got its head around parliamentary procedures in a way that it's going to take months for any new Parliament to do. And it's precisely because we've been able to keep that Prime Minister in his box that he's not very happy with the fact that we exactly are right. trying to continue our way forward. But I want to say as well, one of the reasons that I do not want a general election right now is because if we were to have a general election, the thing that should be front and centre of it is the climate emergency. That is what we should be debating in a general election, not having it overshadowed by yet more fights about Brexit, which it will not resolve. We know that the next 18 months are going to be crucial in terms of whether we have a chance of getting off the collision course we're on with climate catastrophe. The Committee on Climate Change themselves said in their report to Parliament just uh, a few months ago that the next Parliament will be absolutely vital. So it is crucial that the next general election is about the climate crisis. This is an existential crisis facing all of us. And if we fritter that away with more debates about Brexit, which is not even going to resolve, we will be responsible for the greatest irresponsibility that doesn't make quite sense, but you know what I mean. The greatest betrayal of young people, of their futures, because this is a massive wasted opportunity, and I can't bear the fact that we're going to spend it talking about Brexit in a way that is not going to resolve it. Yeah.